Certainly, these knights are much to be commended, who, neglecting their possessions, wander through deserts with their squire and dwarf to relieve poor ladies. Oh, there are no such courteous and farewell-spoken knights in this age. They will call one the son of a whore that Palmer of England would have called fair sir, and one that Rosaclear would have called right beauteous damsel. They will call damned bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but what brave spirit would be content to sit with a flap of wood and a blue apron before him, selling Mithridatum and dragon's water to visited houses, when he might pursue feats of arms, and, and through his noble achievements procure such a famous history to be written of his heroic prowess. Why should I not then pursue this course, for the credit of myself and our company? I shall be the said knight, for in all the worthy books of achievement, I do not call to mind that yet I read of a grocer errant. <laughs> <laughs> but have you heard of any that have wandered, unfurnished of his squire and dwarf? My elder apprentice Tim shall be my squire, and little George my dwarf, yes. Hence my blue apron. Yet, in remembrance of my former trade, I shall have portrayed upon my shield a burning pestle, and I shall be the knight of the burning pestle. <laughs> Tim! My trusty squire. And, and George, my dwarf. <laughs> I charge you, henceforth, to call me by no other name but the right, courteous, and valiant knight of the burning pestle. Also, you shall call no female woman nor wench, but only fair lady, if she ever desires, or distressed damsel, if otherwise. <laughs> and all forests and heaths shall be deserts, and all horses palfreys. Tim, stand out. Admit that this were a desert, and over it, a knight errant creeping, <laughs> and I should bid you inquire his intents. What would you say? Sir, my master sends me to know whether you are writing? No! <laughs> Thus! Fair sir, the right courteous and valiant knight of the burning pestle commands me to inquire on what adventure you are bound, whether to relieve a distressed damsel or otherwise. Uh. Courteous and valiant knight of the burning vessel, <laughs> here is a distressed damsel to have half a penny of pepper. <laughs> we leave her with all courteous language. Then shut up my shop, no more my apprentice and my dwarf, or no more my apprentices, but my trusty beloved squire, and my dwarf, I must bespeak my shield and my arming vessel. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, huzzah! Yeah. As George the Dwarf and Colette, the current Bardic Champion of Madrona, as Tim the Princess. <laughs>